So here's a two minute quick overview of where everything is on the camera. Way more fun than reading the manual, right? First, we're gonna look at the top of the camera. This is the shutter button for taking pictures. You press halfway to focus and all the way to take a picture. Then we've got the zoom lever here to zoom in or out, and it also changes some of the menus. The red button here is for video, to start or stop your videos. On the top is the mode dial where you can change the mode that it's gonna shoot in. Over here is the drive dial, which controls how many images are taken when you press the shutter, and it's also the timer. Right here is the thumb dial where you can change your menus or settings. This little viewfinder has a sensor. When you put your eye up there, it turns off the monitor to save your batteries. So this is the monitor and it is a free angle monitor. It will go all the way out to the side or you can turn it to shoot from up above or you can turn it this way to shoot over your head. Really handy. This is the menu button to get to the menus and your cursors allow you to change the settings. There are also speed buttons to get to your ISO and your white balance, your focus modes and your macro mode. This switch will turn on image stabilization for nice smooth videos. This lever will change this ring from a zoom ring to a fine tuning focus ring. The green button is the playback button so that you can see the images and videos you've taken and you use these cursors to go back and forth. You can also use the thumb dial to do the same. And if you find one you like, you can use the zoom dial to zoom in and see what it looks like up close. You can also play back your images using the HDMI port to show it on your TV or you can use the USB to transfer files to your computer. So if you want to change your focus mode, autofocus is here, but you can also change it to manual right there. So if you need a pop-up flash, here's the lever, and there it is. Doing!